face looks weird. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they heard that. I don't okay. know if you heard, but Allison was just saying when she smiles, her face looks weird. That's true, you probably noticed. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been a while since we made a video together! Together! Being yeah, we're we're being attacked by the evil menace that is Tyler. Yep, he uh, doesn't accept that he can't be in our video. He's very sorry to all of his adoring fans. Yeah, he, um, he protests very <laughs> much though. So if you randomly hear his watch voice, this, watch this, watch this. good night, Tyler. Good night. Oh, he's like, <laughs> never mind. The one time we want him to say. Okay, it. Well, usually he says no. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's this like deep voice. Like he tries to make his voice deep and menacing. Like he has like the little high pitched two year old voice, but he's always like, no, don't do that. It's true. And it's delightful. But this time he said good night back. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, he nice. gave up on us. Oh. I, where did the other juice box go? I want juice. No. You brought three. <gasps> juice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's back. Good night, Tyler. <laughs> We're not gonna open the door. Good night. <laughs> Other people don't have these problems. We also discovered that I have child sense. You know, you may have heard of sight senses. I've got child sense. <laughs> yeah, she can hear a child crying. <laughs> and she's like, that child is crying. <laughs> we should help them. It's a true story, guys. It's a true story. Kelly, that's a story. It's a cool story, bro. Okay. So in order for you to understand the hilarity that is this story, uh, I wrote it when I was in fourth grade. And in fourth grade, I was considered like an English prodigy. No, they don't get to see the picture yet. Oh. Um, I, I just always wrote stories from like second grade to fourth grade. I was considered like an, an, those most amazing story writer ever. Everybody loved me. They always wanted me to do all these stories and all this stuff, and it was ridiculous. So here I was, thinking I was a great story writer, and I recently found a story I wrote titled The Sea Mouse, <laughs> with a beautiful illustration that I did myself. She worked very hard on it. You can see the details. Yeah, the th this is the sea mouse right there. Sea mouse. And, um, it sucks. <laughs> now there's some pretty good vocabulary. <laughs> Yeah, there's like one moment where I just have a random like, huge word. <laughs> like SAT word, guys. So, snap. What's this random piece of word? so I thought I was going to, I'd read it to you. And every name in this book, by the way, is actually a name of one of my friends during this time. So if you guys are watching this and you're like, oh my god, she wrote a story with my name in it, and you're embarrassed by that fact, I'm so sorry. Because I'd be embarrassed to be in the story. Oh wait, I am in the story. <laughs> but I'm not, guys. Don't worry, I'm not in it. I didn't know you in fourth grade. That's good. Juice break. <laughs> I see product placement. <laughs> okay. Hey, Blair. What are you doing? asked Tora. Nothing. Just hanging out, Blair replied. Suddenly, they both hear Megan screeched. Bad English. <laughs> Eek! What's that? It's just a mouse, Kelly explained. It looks hurt, Meredith stated. You think everything looks hurt, Jillian replied. Well, even if it may not be her, it's still her job to follow it, Kelly stated. Yeah, we are the animal rescue team! Woo! Blair said. <laughs> but it's a rat! Megan explained loudly. It's a mouse. There's a big difference, you know, Tora says. A lot of the... I changed tenses there. Blair said, exclaimed, Tora says. Mm, terrible. Be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Meredith adds, I think mice are cute. Come on, let's go, Kelly says. I just, like, permanently changed tenses. <laughs> sure enough, the mouse was waiting for them. All five of them began chasing after it. This is getting frustrated, Megan said, after two hours of chasing the mouse. It's just now getting frustrated to these girls. They're running around, running around. Minute 59 seconds, uh, no, or <laughs> hour 59 minutes, no big deal. Two hours, whoa now. Oh my this gosh. is ridiculous. Obviously, the mouse is not hurt that badly. They don't need to be chasing <laughs> after it. Um, I think that it is slowing down, Jillian exclaimed. The mouse is going behind the cliff, Kelly observed. And I don't know, I have cli the cliff is like highlighted every time I say it. I don't know why. <laughs> we'll never know. Well, hurry up, Megan never said. Never say never. 
Oh my god. You made a beaver reference. Never shout, never. <sighs> well, hurry up, Megan said, before my legs fall off. No, man. <laughs> Crazy. They came around the cliff beside the beach and saw nothing but water and rocks. Where did he go? He would have drowned if he had gone in the water, Meredith said, while trying to catch her breath. That's a pretty long sentence for somebody to say while they're trying to catch the breath. Just saying. Well, let's go. Who knows where it went, Tora complained. They turned around and only saw human footprints. There were no mouse tracks. Tracks is also highlighted. To be seen. Yeah. Later that night, huh. Kelly heard a noise that sounded like a mouse squeak. She went to wake everybody up. They chased after the mouse. They chased. I would kill you if you woke me up because you heard a mouse squeak. Well, you were looking for the mouse anyway. And that's bad English. They chased after the mouse. Well, I mean, it sounds bad because it should be chased. I thought you were like an English prodigy. I was. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> they chased after the mouse, and this time it leads them to a mansion on top of a hill. On top of a hill? They went to Bethlehem. <laughs> Jerusalem, right? Bethlehem was the birthplace. Jerusalem was the city upon a hill. Never mind. Okay. AP US joke. <laughs> they decided they will investigate the mansion tomorrow when they can see the area better, you know, and not to wake up the owners of the mansion by their trespassing. Whatever. And <laughs> Yeah. Kelly was tossing and turning all night, wondering why the mouse would lead them to a cliff in the mansion. The <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear them, they're being funny. <laughs> The next day, they walked into the mansion, and a butler answered the door. Hello, may I help you? The butler queried. <laughs> he didn't Weird. ask, he queried. Because he's a butler, so he has to use big words. I don't know. Um, do you have a pet mouse living here? asked Tora. No, but we used to. <laughs> and then he added, here, let me show you the graveyard. Gra, gra, graveyard? Megan stammered. Sure, why not, Meredith said, you know. Completely normal for somebody to invite, you know, people to their graveyards. There's a crane sitting on his head. Oh. Okay. <gasps> At the graveyard, Tora noticed that all graves had a picture on them. She walked away from the group thinking she should cover more ground that way. She ran into a grave that had a picture of a mouse. They, there, she noticed a message on the tombstone. It read... I will not rest until my secret is known. She got kind of scared. Only kind of. Just just a bit, you know. More like on edge. <laughs> and ran back to the rest of the group. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. When they all looked at the grave, there was nothing written on it. They then left the mansion and followed it back to the cliff. <laughs> Megan tripped and fell in the water. Why are you lint rolling me? <laughs> Megan tripped and fell in the water. There is something here, she said. She picked it up, and a doorway opened in the rocks. They entered it and saw the mouse. But Blair pounced on it and caught it. Blair pounced, man. <laughs> That's legit. They then noticed that something was written on the wall. Uh -oh. The butler did it. Just... <sighs> what does that mean, Blair asked. The mouse spoke up. My secret. I must tell you. Now my question is, if the mouse can speak this whole freaking time, this why is the lint that was on us? <laughs> the mouse can speak the whole freaking time. Why does he not just walk up to them or somebody else and be like, "Hey, the butler did it." I mean, he did just now. <sighs> but why all the theatrics? Because he's a mouse. God damn it! He likes his drama. Language. <laughs> that was one of our rules. We've already broken the one about how many times we're going to post. Oh, Sorry, she said, you. gosh, dang it. She did. Oh. You said I just said that near me. He, he then tells them the story of what the butler did to him. They took the mouse up to the mansion. It's long. Yeah, I know. They took the mouse up to the mansion and asked the butler if they could see the owner of the mansion. The mouse told his beloved owner of how he came to die. The owner then fired the butler and gave the kids a big reward. Cheesiest ending ever. And then the owner said, Now my pet mouse can rest in peace. As the mouse fades away, he speaks one last time and says, Thank you. The end. The end. My favorite part is how I never actually explained what happened to the mouse. Just kind of summed it all up there in a bit. 
I was never very good at my conclusions. <laughs> Just, hey, he died. The butler did it. That's all that matters. This is a mouse. It's not even, like, that big of a deal. Sorry for anybody who has, like, a pet mouse out there. They'd be like, I'd kill somebody if they killed my mouse. But, I mean, murdering really, a mouse is hardly a capital offense. <laughs> God murdered my mouth. I want him on death row by the mouth. to the snakes. <sighs> Sorry, that was uncalled for. <laughs> that was mean. Um, yeah. before we go, I want to point out my shirt. Um, cause we, I took my AP chemistry the shirt exam that I today. So that you guys can't even see. Yeah. I took, I took my AP chemistry shirt, uh, exam today, and our teacher bought us these shirts, and nobody understands them. I mean, they understand them, but it's not very funny. It says chemistry spelled wrongly, and then it says this ain't English, so twist, turn, get on my energy level. And I just wanted to point out my shirt because it's kind of like the nerdiest shirt We're at 11 ever created. Uh, <laughs> eleven, eleven! Oh, no, I couldn't stop it. Didn't. Anyways, that's we're basically reading really the But kudos to um. Anybody who actually finished watching this, congratulations. I, you get a mental cookie. <laughs> Yay, mental cookies! The best part about mental cookies is they can be any flavor cookie I think you want this them to be. End now.